go see um, a Coldplay concert, not but not a concert because concerts are like a thousand dollars now, probably like three hundred something. But they're also just not touring where I am. I think they're in Germany or something right now. But um, they recorded a concert and fully edited it and all this jazz. So it's like a two and a half hour experience of Coldplay. Um, and it's, no, it's not a cover band. It's at the theater, at the movies, at the at a theater. Um, and so it was like $25, like a movie ticket's like 15 or something. But I think it was like 25, um, which, is a lot better than 300 or whatever. Um, yeah, it's like two weeks from now or something. Theater experience. And the thing is, is like, I would, like it's on my bucket list. I will shell out the 300, 500, whatever dollars to go see Coldplay in concert. But whatever tickets I'm gonna get are gonna be so far back nosebleeds that I'll be able to see little, little Coldplay people. <laughs> But mostly, I'll probably watch the concert off of, like, the big screens they have, you know? Um, whereas this is, like, they recorded it, like, in front of um, Chris, what's his name? Hey, Google, who's the lead singer of Coldplay? The lead singer of Coldplay is Chris Martin. Chris Martin, sorry. Um... I don't know why my assistant didn't, I mean, my phone popped off, but my Google Home didn't. Um, so, like, with this, they have, like, right there. They're right there with Chris Martin and the rest of the band. So, it's a lot better view. Um, but I still think probably a concert would be a better experience, but, like, movie theater, better speakers, I don't know. So, we'll see. I'm really excited, though. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I've been doing a kind of thing that we've been having. Okay. Um, see, like, if I try to stand up, I have to move this. And then it's like, oh, nice, the light. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of cold in here, actually. Kind of, kind of chilly. Kind of chilly. Um, it's probably because it's like, what, 57 degrees out? Uh, so I really have to back up for you guys to even. Um, so, sneak peek, I guess, for tomorrow's morning stream. Tomorrow morning, like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., that type of thing. I woke up late today because I stayed up really late, but I got myself some fancy, expensive, how can I turn this? Expensive coloring pencils and a Spider-Man coloring book. Here's all the design. I don't know if you can really see them. Well, since it's got plastic on it, the light is reflecting off of it. High here is going to be like 70. Well, like, it's still early in the day. Yesterday, it was like 50, 40 degrees at noon, and then at like 4 p.m., it was, uh... And then at... Hi! Thank you for the follow. Oh, Devin! How's it going? Did, did you, did you, could you not get uh, access back to your last account? Let's see what it's going to be here at like 4 p.m. Probably. Uh, yeah, 4 p.m. it's going to be 71. And then literally three hours later, uh, 4 p.m. and four hours later it's at 60 four hours after that it'll be 50 so every four hours it's gonna go down 10 degrees I need my old phone number and that phone got water damage it's rough but also like did the sim card also get water damaged 
Because last time I got a phone that had water damage, I was at least able to salvage the SIM card. So, but. But yeah. Ugh. I don't know, but I need to connect to my new phone. Understandable. Well, I'm happy you're back. I am also going to be back to snack, to streaming. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, you know. Hopefully. I'm really, I'm really going to try to make the time, find the time, and start streaming a bunch again. So, if you guys want to come back, come back! Uh, if you guys want to come back, that is dope, too. I mean, it's the whole thing about, like, consistency brings people because they know your schedule, they know, like, I want to create a schedule, too, because during COVID, my schedule was just, like, every day, 4 p.m., <laughs> Like, there was a time during COVID where I didn't miss a day for a stream for, like, three months. It was, like, a three-month span of time where I did not miss one stream. And that was very dope. Um, yes, I also do remember it. There's a stream... I have to... It's one of the Apex streams. I think it's... I'd have to find it. There's two Apex streams that after the stream, we went back, me and Bree, um, Bree and I, sorry, English major, um, Bree and I, get that out of my vocab, um, Bree and I went through every clip of this channel, and it was a lot of nostalgia for the COVID time. So, well, the streams, not for the time of COVID, but the streams during COVID. Um, so, so yeah, I'm basically just gonna try to start streaming a bunch, and we'll see what happens, because I think I've honestly just been, like, making kind of excuses, oh, whatever, but also it's been, I've been really busy. I'm gonna freaking find the time, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like my whole thing about like consistency brings people, but like also people bring people, the, more, the higher you are on the leaderboard, the higher the more likely people will watch, will be able to see you on the leaderboard, um, like all that stuff, so, but, and I know I talked about switching to YouTube, but I've been looking into it, and I think I'm gonna just, I like Twitch a lot, and I, I know Twitch, and ch change is big, and all that jazz, so it's just like, like, Twitch. That's what I love. Also, weirdly recently, I've been having like this like ear thing where uh, my, I can, okay, it's gone? No, it's back. Like I, like I'm, have you ever worn headphones during a phone call? Uh, you can hear yourself, like hear yourself talk like, hey, uh, I would like an order of 87 fries individual package. Um, you can hear yourself in your headphones, and then you can hear them. It's that same type of situation, like only in my right ear. I'm looking at it on my screen, and it looks like my left ear because it's a mirror. It's flipped. Um, but I hear I hear myself in my right ear, which is really weird. Every so often, so it's just like, ugh. I don't know. I don't like it. Chris just said zombie you.
Um, is it clock? Well, that's the thing. Like, it's, like, it feels like the type of situation, like, after a water park or something, but, like, I showered last night. I didn't. But, like, it'll happen at, like, 2 p.m. at work. So I don't. I don't know if I need to, like, pop my ear or, or whatever, but maybe that was it. Because I just heard my. Maybe it's air pressure in my ear because I just popped it and now I think it's gone. I don't know. Is there a phenomenon? I'm, okay, I can still, like, every few seconds. Hearing yourself in your ear. Cloud. Porous Lucian tube dysfunction is disorder with the valve of the Lucian tube that causes it to remain open. When this valve remains open, sound can travel from the nasal sinus cavity to the ears, allowing you to hear your own voice or your own breathing too loudly, even the sound of blood pumping. Okay, I just hear my voice. I don't hear blood pumping. Also, I don't. I hope I don't have a freaking disorder. Uh, dysfunction. I don't know, it's not like that big of a deal, but like, recently, I wonder if it's like, where I'm at, since, maybe it's because of where I'm at, since I moved, I'm at a higher altitude, so I don't know, if it's that scenario, I don't know, here's the, here's the Google thing. I don't know. I don't love it, but it's not like, it's not like pain, like pain in your teeth or, or whatever is a lot worse. So, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. What song are we on, by the way? I mean, I'm not listening with you guys, but I'm still on dance with me. I think, let's see, the cue. Okay, the next song is a, have you guys ever seen the Pokemon episode, Bye Bye Butterfree? I think that's what it's called. Bye Bye Butterfree. Yes, that is what it's called. It's like the saddest Pokemon episode ever. I vividly remember me crying watching that episode at my family computer. And my sister, my oldest sister, coming up to me, what's wrong? Well, I'm, <laughs> she goes like, what's wrong? I'm like, he left, he left his butterfree. <laughs> it's a sad episode. Um, so this song is like a love song about, uh, is about that butterfree. Litwick. Yeah, I'm planning on, uh, I'm planning on, uh, playing some of it. Is it, do you have to have like the 99 cent community pass or something? I don't know. Do I, or is that for something else coming up? I don't know. I saw some pass or whatever in the shop. You don't have to. Is it just like giving you special research? Because honestly, I'm planning on play, playing it. I might get the pass. We'll see. If that's for today, I don't know if it's for a different thing or a different day or whatever. Are you planning on playing it, Jedi? Shop. Trick the light. Is that today? Two two p.m. to five p.m. Okay. Field research. Field notes. Special research. You're playing on plan. Do you have the field research, Jedi? Are you going out with your son, or just you, or? Nope, you don't have it. Yes, you're going. 
<laughs> I'm so I'm asking you yes or no questions, so I'm just like making myself more confused. You gotta go. Well, thanks for stopping by, uh, Devin. I will be probably live um, later today with Zombie U if you're available. And then tomorrow we'll do the Spider Man coloring. Um, and then later Sunday we'll play some more Zombie U. I'm trying to catch up because I didn't stream this week. So, yeah. And maybe some Apex in there. We'll see what happens. But see ya. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, my Breath of the Wild shirt. I love this shirt. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. Breath of the Wild. I gotta get a Cheers for Kingdom shirt now. But look. It's from the official Nintendo New York. And it has the Nintendo seal of approval. Where did you get it? The Nintendo New York store. I think I think you haven't seen this. I mean like I think stream is a little delayed because because I think I'm answering your question when you've already seen me show you it's from Nintendo New York. It's super soft. That's and stretchy. That's the thing I like about Nintendo New York store shirts is they're super soft and stretchy. I have a, I have another one. Nintendo New York, like the classic Nintendo Red. And then it says, where everyone comes to play, Nintendo New York. And then established 1889. But I, that's Nintendo. That's Nintendo in general, not, not the Nintendo New York store. The Nintendo New York store established the same year as Nintendo. 1889. That means... Nintendo and <laughs> hey Google 89 minus 22 that's 67 Once upon a time. 89 minus 2267 is minus 2178 no. in 67 years right yeah in 67 years Nintendo will Nintendo will uh, um, Nintendo will uh, um, in 67 years Nintendo will be 200 years old, right? Twenty eighty nine minus eighteen eighty nine. Two hundred years old. And you don't remember me going to New York? Well, I didn't really post about it because I don't like to post when I'm not home. Like, hey guys, guess what? I'm not even anywhere remotely near my house. <laughs> Come rob me. Um, but I did go in August. I I, I went back. I went back home and was home for two weeks and one of the days I went to New York with some friend. So, not that I don't think anybody's gonna come around me, but just just a safety precaution. You know? I, I'll send you some photos, Jedi. I just haven't posted it on Instagram. All, all that jazz. So I did. But you're, uh... Oh, okay, I remember you were going home, but I didn't know you went to New York. Yeah, I went to... Went home, 
and I uh, went to the Nintendo New York store. Well, I went to New York, and along with going to New York, I went to the Nintendo New York store. store. Um. You would have beeped out? Well, here. It was so awesome. I, we literally spent like two hours in there and it went by like, like that. Like super, super. Here it is. Nintendo Hanafuda cards. Obviously. This is one of Nintendo's first business, uh, business things. Uh, this is what this is what Nintendo started doing, is Hanafuda cards. Obviously not with Mario. This is updated. This is looking back. They also had the original, like with the samurai and other stuff. But I wanted Nintendo. I don't. There's Hanafuda in, um, uh, what's that game? Clubhouse Games. There's Hanafuda and Clubhouse Games. So if I really want to play Hanafuda, I'll play Clubhouse Games. But I, like, don't want to open these. <laughs> Not, like, for a resell thing. I just want to keep them for Steam. Um, but I don't know. Never say never. I might open them. It's got a bunch of Japanese text on them. So I bought the Breath of the Wild shirt. I bought the Nintendo New York shirt. And then I bought this Hanafuda card. Business, business ventures. It was Ninten Nintendo's first business venture. Well, one of their first was playing cards. And they're not numbered. They have symbols and whatever. Because gambling was banned back then. So you didn't want to have one, two, three, four, five. So gambling was banned. So it's, oh, these are just Hanafuda cards where you play Hanafuda. But oftentimes people assign numbers to cards. Like, like for example, Mario is one, Luigi's two, Peach is three, Cat Luigi is four, Yoshi's five, Toad six, that type of thing. So people could still gamble with them, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, these are just like new inspired, and they had they had an original pack like behind a sealed glass. Of the like the original original cards because these are re redone. I don't know if there's like a copyright year on this. Like when these were produced, probably in the last couple of years. Uh, I don't know, probably like 2018 or 2017, that type of thing. So like, anyways, yeah, I'm a food card. I love them. So yes, it's very, very cool. So yeah. Um, before Nintendo did video games and taxi services and love hotels, exactly what you think they are. <laughs> but they did that. Um, and toys and whatever. They did playing cards on a food of cards. So yeah, they're real tiny. They're like, like this big. Like that big. Maybe that big. As you can see. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's so dope. I would, if you ever make a trip out to New York, you have to stop at the Nintendo New York store. 
probably my favorite thing we did the whole day. <laughs> and it was New York! You know? So. Um. 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. is that. <sighs> is that event? So you're planning. I don't know. Uh, so you don't have the pass, but you're planning on playing it. Are you doing it with your son? I kind of. We. I kind of just got confused with yes, no. I was like, uh, what do you mean? Which one? <laughs> Yeah, well, the taxi service. I mean, it was just like a taxi company. Nothing crazy. And the Love Hotel. I think there's a uh, site called Nintendo Before Mario. Yeah, Nintendo Before Mario. Yes, sir. List of toys and games. Now these are all their toys. And then it ends with the Famicom or the NES in America. Uh, but yeah, this is. I think this is just their toy ventures. I think this is just their toy adventures, not, not anything else. It's a cool site though. Um. Let's see. Nintendo Wikipedia. Early history. Okay, so yes, Hanafuda was their first business venture by Craftsman uh, to produce and distribute Hanafuda flower cards, a type of traditional Japanese playing card. The name Nintendo commonly assumed to mean leave luck to heaven, but the assumption lacks historical validation. It can be alternately tra be translated to the Temple of Free Hanafuda. Hanafuda cards became popular after Japan banned most forms of gambling in 1880, 1882 through tolerated Hanafuda sales. Of Hanafuda cards were popular with the Yazuka Ran gaming parlors in Kyoto. Other card manufacturers have opted to leave the market by not wanting to be associated with criminal ties. But Yamiuchi persisted without such fears of becoming the primary producer of Hanafuda within a few years. Um... But then it was renamed to Playing Cards and Nintendo, the Nintendo the Playing Cards Company. Uh, yes, this love hotels. No Nintendo collection is complete with an authentic set of Hanafuda cards. Yeah. So they've they've been they've had a definitely an interesting <laughs> they've had an interesting history. Very family friendly Nintendo. One of their first business ventures was Love Hotels, which is kind of hilarious. History of Nintendo. Let's 
sticky keys. Yeah, it's it's a good time. It's a good time. Dance, dance, come and dance. Come and days we've been having. <clears throat> Knuckles in my mouth. Sitting at home and trying to sing. Didn't feel the same. I just want to hear your name. But yeah. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Hope you guys like the music. I like the music. The music. <laughs> but yeah, is that what you had planned for today, Jedi? Gotta go have a good stream. Well, I just wanted to right before you leave have you check your Pokemon Go and I don't know how this totally works but just check your Pokemon Go uh, yes open open your gifts from me if you can like on Pokemon Go Do, 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 do. I got a Pikachu in my house. There's a Pikachu in my house. There's a Pikachu in my house. <sighs> Come on, Pikachu. Very bright. <laughs> One day catch. I have way too many heals and not enough revives. Like, like I have 60, 60 revives and 129 max potions. Way too, that, that doesn't work out. That does not work out. So, yeah. Do, do, do. I hope, uh, I hope that, uh, that system of sending the gift worked. I don't know if it did. I mean, I hope it did. I just haven't ever done it before, so. So, yeah. So, yeah, buddy. Dead. You appreciate it? Well, I hope, I hope you do. I've been meaning to do it, but I was, I, I've been meaning to send it, but I keep forgetting, but then you brought up the event, and I was like, oh, that's today. I thought it was next week. There you are. 
Let's have a quick break from cleaning and open some Pokemon card packs on stream. These are the McDonald's Pokemon card packs. I got two of them. I got two Happy Meals for dinner the other two weeks ago or something. Ba using my McDonald's points. Um, saved up points just so I could basically get these packs. There's three cards each. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do an overview. It's not... It's not gonna focus until it's stable. That's the thing. Oh my word. What if I did? That might work. Alright. There we go. I don't think we can do like the card trick of putting three cards behind whatever because it's it's just gonna be three cards. Yeah, booster bag. That. And here's the other box. Four game cards. I thought there was three. Look, it says three. And then this says four. I wish I had some sleeves to keep the cards pristine, you know? Let's see. Oh, I got a gold thingy. Oh, I got a gold thingy in both. Give me my cards. There we go. So now we've got eight. I, we've got eight Pokemon cards. I don't know what this thing is. Weom! Weom! Okay. Is there instructions? Okay. Hand each player a card. Max four players per pack. Youngest player goes first, then play continues in a clockwise direction. Flip coin to see whether high or low wins. Oh, so this is this is a this is a coin, guys. Not not a I don't know. 4.4k damage. Did you go into sudden death? Or was it like <laughs> You have to have a a little bit longer of a game to get 4.4. Um spin to choose category. How do I spin this? Like just... My... Sudden death did double amount of damage in both my team. Wow. You are just, you're just amazing. Oh, wait. I think you're supposed to hold this. And then, ah, you're supposed to hold this and then let it spin. Like that, cool. Cool guys, cool. Giveaway. Who wants this? <laughs> okay. What you've all been, what you're all here for, the Pokemon card pulls. Oh, but is it gonna be three cards and one online card? I think that'll be, that'll, that's what it will be. You wanna hit the rip?
Okay. We gotta do the gotta do the trick. Mix up the cards so the hollow comes last. Three, three in the back, right? Okay. Here it goes. First card. Oh, hollow first. Rowlet. Rowlet. It's shiny. Nice pull, guys. Nice pull. Love to see it. Rampa. I don't even know this Pokemon, though. Dragon type. All right, next Pokemon. Chimchu, Chinchu. I know this Pokemon. Nice, love to see it. I thought they were gonna have like a little like McDonald's logo on them. And then, ba ba da da, Pangoro. I know this Pokemon. First pack. Hollow. We got the Hollow first. Love to see it. Okay. Second pack, here we go. So we actually did get four genuine cards. I thought it was gonna be like a TCG online code or something. I would love to get Pikachu in one of these. Okay. Mix them up. Okay, first card. Cutie fly, let's go. Great pull. <laughs> I don't know how people make this super interesting. <laughs> the anticipation. A drampa. We got a duplicate. That's fine. And do 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 do. Jinchu, another dupe. Okay, this maybe this will be a hollow. Last card, boom! Yeah! Hello, Growlithe. I think they confirmed in like the press release when these were announced that they were gonna have one hollow per per bag. I don't know what you wanna call these. It's not super focusing. Here's my two hollows. Here's the two pulls. Love to see it. Love to see it. Now, folks. Um, here's what I'm going to do with these cards. Gamer moment. Well, is are you referencing my tweet? You referencing these cards? A hundred cards for ten dollars? <laughs> also, I'm pretty decently sure these aren't fake. Because with my expertise of Pokemon cards, I don't think these are fake. So we know that the McDonald's cards are real. So. Here's the maybe fake. Here's the real. They look. They don't like usually fakes when I was like in middle school. Like, here's the here's the face would be like super washed out and not. But since we have a real card side by side, I think what it is is that all these cards are basics. So I think. Um, they just got the cheapest cards. I mean, basics, you look them up and they're like two cents a card if you wanted to buy one. Um, I think what they did is they just opened a bunch of packs and rounded up all the basics and sold them in a pack of 50. So I think they're genuine cards, just not obviously sold by Nintendo. The color is slightly different. Maybe...
Like maybe it's maybe this is the real one. Maybe this one's a little more red. I don't know. But like also a lot of like in all my experience with fake cards because where people would try, oh I'll give you ten cards, ten EXs for your Pikachu. And it's like, yeah, because these are ten fake and you're trying to get my one genuine Pikachu. Um the the thing with it is that there's with we know this is a real card. Um with Pokemon cards, there, there are two pieces of cardboard, paper type of thing. There's this, and then there's the front, and they're sealed together so that they can print a bunch of these and then slap them on any card they want, rather than printing the front, then flipping them and printing the back. Um, and you can kind of, you can't, you probably won't be able to see it on stream, but in person, you can see that there's like a little black line between the two that's separating them, that's them combined. Um, and these have that too. I, I went through like 10 of these cards. They don't have spelling errors. Like they look and the art looks good. It doesn't look washed out. Yeah. So I think these are real and I think they're just cheap. Like they're 50 cards. So you do, I don't know, five cents a card. That's not that, that's not $6. Let's see. Five cents a card times fifty. That's two dollars and fifty cents. You know. So. Uh, and then they, I bought them for six dollars and twelve cents a pack. So they're making four dollars of profit. So I think these are real. And so. And also, they're not for me. They're for my nephew. I don't think my nephew is watching this. Um, what I'm going to do is take our eight cards and just put them in, in the pack. So he's going to get, instead of getting a hundred cards, he's going to get a hundred and eight cards. Because I love Pokemon cards. I, I mean, I spent like two hours last night examining these and just looking at the art and, and having a good time. Um, but like, I don't, I don't have a need for them, so, I don't know why they're so expensive. I don't, I don't have like, my brother, my older brother supposedly has my cards, because he started the collection, but I, for like every birthday got cards, so... Half of them are mine, three fourths of them. So, this is me extending it to a new generation of fans. There's the cards. And I hope my my five year old nephew is not watching this. Here's your, here's Christmas. I, I assure you with every measure of my heart, he's not watching this. Um, so, yes sir, you know, there you go, hope he likes him. So, worst comes to worst, he's at least got four genuine cards. Pikachu! What if we did? What if we did a little arts and crafts? Let me see something. But technically, I got these cards for free. Well, the the McDonald's cards, because I used my McDonald's app points and got 
two free, uh, two free, um, Happy Meals. And I had them for dinner one day. And then I, I got them so I can get the Pokemon cards, but obviously I'm going to eat the food too. Obviously, I'm not stupid. What I'm attempting to do right now is cut out the Pikachu. You know? And why? Just for kicks and giggles to see if I can do it. Pikachu! We gotta be very delicate. Very delicate. Also, I wanna... The next time I visit my brother, I wanna investigate and see if he has... Cause he's like, oh, I don't know. I have them. And I was like, uh... They're not... I, I am happy to give you your original cards, but most of those are mine. See, the thing is, if I had a binder of cards, I would keep those McDonald's cards, but I don't because I genuinely think, I mean, my brother told me last night that he has a binder of Pokemon cards and I go, uh, excuse me, that's, those are mine. So next time I visit, I'm going to have to investigate because I don't know. He's like, oh, I don't know if they're yours. And it was like, uh, they probably are. I just have to make sure they're mine. And if they are, I'm going to try to get them back. And I could do a showing off my Pokemon card stream. Showing off my collection. Read the about me on your Twitch channel. Is it really old? I probably haven't updated it in like eight years, bro. Is it, oh, does it say like every, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to stream and all this garbage? Uh, hey there. Hello. Welcome back to the snack. My name is back to snack pronounced back to snack. I'm a 19 year old variety streamer. That's not true. I'm 20 now. I tend to stream Nintendo games. So I keep it PG, but still fun for everyone. I interact with chat a bunch. Very laid back, but I get hyped in my community are community and I are very welcoming. Hello, hello, guten tag, bonjour, ciao. My name is Back to Sack. I'm an 18 year old. Oh my word, this is two years old. Male Nintendo focused streamer. I stream every day, except Sunday. My mom wanted me to take a break from streaming, <laughs> from streaming every day. She's like, you need a break. I'm streaming a full playthrough of Pokemon Emerald, 2D Mario. And Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. I do stream other games like Smash Online from time to time. Let me know when and what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. 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 Also, I haven't updated the game we, uh, we play. I also have the Five Fine Sponsor, which they don't sponsor me anymore because they've gotten a lot bigger as a company. So, yeah, they don't sponsor me anymore. Because they got a lot bigger people. Whoa. Pokemon's. Talking about Pokemon. They're doing a. Uh, They're doing a tournament right now. Cool, cool. Pokemon trading card tournament. Can you greet me to Tommy and Luca? Can I greet you? Can I say hi to Tommy and Luca? Of course. South American fan. 
Um, hello, Tommy and Luca from South America. I hope you are having a good day. We're just talking about some Pokemon cards right now. Here's a Pikachu. Um, and I hope, and thank you for stopping by. Tommy, thank you for the follow. We're just, we're just, just chatting, talking about Pokemon, and I hope, and I'm happy you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm trying to cut out this Pikachu right now from this card deck thing. I don't know if it's working yet. We shall see. <laughs> I did beat FIFA 12 career mode. Like that's the hardest, that's the hardest game of all time. I actually have a... Will it focus? Will it focus? Will it focus? Will it focus? <laughs> Dang it! Focus! I must feel like I need to put my hand behind it. It's FIFA 21. On Switch. I have that ready at, at any notice. Oh shoot. I was trying to trim up Pikachu because he's looking a little plump. And I cut apart of Pikachu. I'm so sorry Pikachu. I'm so sorry. I need 23. It's gonna be the it's the last FIFA game. You you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it, JSP. I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, me when my brother always asked me to buy a new. No, it was like me when my Discord group always tells me to hop on and buy a new game that we're gonna play. And then it was a Wii Sports clip. Wii Sports Golf, and he hits it, and it goes just straight in, and it goes, chip in! <laughs> I was like, chip in money. <laughs> chip in, pay, help me pay for it if you want me, want me to have it so bad. That type of thing. You know, you could buy me the Europe Switch version you want and it switches and region locked so but here's the thing about uh about fifa on switch gsp they're called legacy editions all they do on switch specifically all they do they, the gameplay has not changed since fifa 20 or 19 on switch because all they do is they update the roster the players on switch and then it's the same game same mechanics they haven't they literally have not done anything so like if i'm playing 29 20 21 it's just gonna be the same game as 23 you know and honestly classic fifa is <coughs> is better is the best fifa I'm telling you, it peaked. It peaked in FIFA 2012. Since then, it has never been as good. So. You know, this is really hard, especially with way big scissors. Dang it! I'm trying to cut this part off of Mr. Mr. Pikachu here. And it's not. It's hard.
Okay. So yeah, that's that's my version of the Switch. You're just like, uh, I don't know, bro. You're just giving me the same game again. I think it's just gonna look weird because I'm cutting the, the effects off of him. Gonna look spiky. Okay. We're almost done. Twelve. Twelve Thirty minutes cutting out this PBJ. Kidding. Become a famous soccer player. Yeah, I should. I'm the absolute best. Actually, the thing is, my dreams of being in FIFA are, are now crushed because they won't, they won't ever. Well, never say never. Maybe, maybe FIFA will renew their license with EA someday. But that'll be some like crazy screaming E3 announcement. Like it starts dark and then it's just like. has some soccer trailer and it's like FIFA 100 uh, FIFA 97 whatever become the goalkeeper for the US soccer team they're gonna need it bro they're playing next month I'm so excited for the World Cup I am so excited I'm excited to see the US get knocked out in like two two games our men's team is just atrocious. But I mean, I have hope. Maybe we'll do a little better. In the last one, we didn't even get in. Oh, shoot. Dang. My boy's tail is hanging on for their life. not paper. I mean, it is, but it's thicker. Um, I hope England beats me 5-0. They probably will. Um, last World Men's World Cup, we didn't even, we lost to Tonga or something in the qualifier. So they they made it to the World Cup, and the United States did not, which is honestly kind of hilarious. Uh, Pikachu has no fingers. I cut them off. Does he even have fingers in general? I don't know. Do they call them fingers in the Pokemon world? Opposable. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> Pikachu! <laughs> From we cut him out from this. <laughs> Look, he can he can just fit right over. Almost. He's a little slim down. Pikachu. He was winning the World Cup. Um Let's see. Let's see what the starting matchups of World Cup 2022. No, I want to see the matchups. FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. 35 days.
Okay, group. Hey, you're in our same group. You're in group B with us. Does that mean we play you first? Match schedule, here we go. Oh my word. This is not a good schedule. What the right? 1B versus CE versus. Hey, Friday, November 25th, we play you. Yeah. So. Friday, November 25th. But look, just looking at the teams, generalize. I hope. Um. Group E looks really strong. Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa Rica. Um, but so does Group C. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland. Um, I, I always, here's the thing. I always root for Germany as soon as, I, I will always root for my country, United States. But uh, I will always root for, as soon as the United States is, <sighs> As soon as the United States gets knocked out, um, I will root for Germany. Germany and the Japan is usually 1200. Is this Eastern Standard Time or is this Qatar time? It starts at starts at 10 p.m. at night, like in Qatar. Oh my word. It's a night game? Under the lights? Under the lights? What is... What time is it in Qatar right now? Okay, it's nine. They're nine hours ahead. So wait, will the game the game will be on Saturday for me then? Right? Or because it's on Friday. If they're nine hours ahead, that means 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 11, 12. So it starts at 7 a.m. on Saturday, my time, I think. I would wake up for that match. Google had a thing that the matchups and it was a lot easier to look at. Google World Cup 2022 matchups. Why isn't the Google thing showing up? Like they're like their sports thing. Y'all ready for this? There's one game being played at 1 p.m. UK time on Monday. On a Monday. One of your games. England. England. Is it November 21st? USA versus Wales. The finals. So, but the thing is, is that the final is on a Sunday, Sunday night in Qatar, right? But that means it's a Monday morning. The final takes place on a Monday morning. That is so... So boring, so sad, <laughs> so disappointing, you know? Oh, Germany versus Japan on Wednesday, that'll be good. <sighs> that'll be a good matchup. Wait, but a lot of this is taking place during Christmas time, Monday, 
December 19th, but still, I wish it would happen on like Christmas. I could have time to watch it then. You know. When's Thanksgiving? The 24th? Right? Oh, hey! Yeah. The US isn't playing on the 24th. So, I'll be able- I'll, I'll watch the England-USA game. I should have- I should be totally able to watch that. Why do I only see one U.S. game? Well, two. U.S. versus Wales. U.S. versus England. Am I blind? Do wait. Is it double? Do we all only get two games? And then it. Then we go to the round of sixteen. I think so. no. We have Iran versus U.S.A. Three games. Three games each. Oh, we play our group. Oh, we just play our group. Nice. Okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So three games. We just all play our group. Okay. Cool. But that's like double elimination. Like you, you have to win both games, right? Or or not? You have to win at least two games. That's kind of scary. I think we for. Uh, I mean, hopefully we'll win. Iran versus Wales, or Iran and Wales, but I don't know if we'll win versus England. <laughs> but maybe that'll, if we win versus Iran and Wales, hopefully that'll get us to round of 16 and then we'll play somebody like, I don't know. Uh, like, Saudi Arabia. Or somebody, and then we can move on to quarterfinals. Yes, that is that is true. I'm so excited! I love the World Cup. Like literally, I don't watch any like other media. I come home from work, and I like, or like on break at work, or whatever. I or when I were, when I was doing it in school. Well, like with the Olympics recently, I would come home from work and I'd watch, I'd like eat food and like watch the Olympics and I would like be at work and watch some highlights of the Olympics and whatever. I'm getting kind of hungry, guys. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry, hungry. I'm so glad the, like, I don't, I'm not super, like, oh, yeah, I gotta watch the, I don't know, USA versus Wales game, but, I mean, I'll, for all of the US games, and maybe Germany or whatever, I'll watch, like, the 10-minute highlight video that gets posted after the game, but, um, but I'm happy I'm able to watch the England versus USA, 7 a.m. on Saturday, November 26th. I just gotta make sure I wake up. I'll probably be with family since it's the holiday. Throw on headphones or something and wake people up when US scores and beats England. Yeah! 
<laughs> Here's the thing, I don't have much hope for our team. But you know, that isn't very patriotic of me, so I believe that we can beat England. If you believe, that's all that matters. Yeah, of course. I always watch the... I'll watch the full thing once we get to semifinals, yeah. And then the third place in the final match. If you get to the semifinals on move to the USA, please do. Uh, let's see. We have a rivalry against Mexico, Canada, and Costa Rica. Okay, FIFA World Cup. FIFA World Cup record. I don't know how to read this. Wait, our, the best we've ever done was in 1994, where we placed 14th. We got to the round of 16. Is that the best we've ever done? I don't know how to read this page. Read this page. Why is this circle? Because did we host that year? Isn't 2076 going to be in Boston? Is this only because we didn't... We Is this the team who won? This is the team who won that year? Wait. Why is it Japan and South Korea? Okay. Isn't this qualified as co-host? Isn't it in Boston? How are we a co-host? Are they putting up a bunch of money? Canada, Mexico. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it's who hosted. This is who hosted, not one. Because this is Russia. Russia hosted 2018. Did not qualify. That's so, so sad. And since we're hosting, we have to qualify. Base, be, wait, but didn't we place eighth? Is this eighth? Stay with me. He automatically qualifies most. Well, that would that would be stupid, you know. If you're just like, <laughs> if you're just like, uh, so I'm hosted, but I didn't get in. Eight, two thousand two. Best. Young player, Landon Davidian. Who'd we lose to? What led us to eighth place? Wait, so there was 
stadiums in Japan in and in Korea. So is that's what happening. So that's what happening next year. We're gonna have stadiums in U.S., Mexico, and Canada. All of North America, I guess. So we've never won. <laughs> we have never won. I mean, our men's team. Our women's team is really good. They still held a World War, uh, World Cup during World War Two. That's interesting. Nineteen thirty. Woo! Hey, some of our players could still be alive. Maybe if they were twenty in nineteen thirty. No, they're dead. That doesn't make sense. If they were born in 1930, then they'd be like 90 now. <laughs> 92. I don't think any of our players are still alive. I was going to say, bring out those players for this year so we can get maybe third place. That was funny. That's funny. Alright, 2002 World Cup. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Beach Park, Beat Pork, Portugal 3-2. Then tied South Korea. Oh, I forgot. Wait, can we still tie? Or are we at the point in the World Cup where where we let things go to overtime? Or is that only for like round of 16 or semifinals or whatever? And then we lost to Poland. Oh my word. 8-0 to Saudi Arabia. Okay. <laughs> Only for round, only round of sixteen and on. Republic of Ireland. They lost to oh, they beat Cameroon. I was gonna say what the heck, eight zero. That's that's rough, bro. Okay, two thousand two. When did this take place? This was Senegal beating France was the best was the best game of the Senegal beating France 1-0 was the best game of the World Cup in 2002. It just was. It's just straight facts. Germany versus Brazil. I might have I might remember that game. We beat Portugal, tied South Korea, lost here in Poland. Okay, knockout stage. Here we go. Germany, we beat Mexico 2 0. That's kind of honestly surprising. We beat Mexico. And then, is this the round of. I thought this was our, our eighth place. Oh. Yeah, I guess it is. Because this is top four. We lost against Germany 1 0. And then Germany went all the way and lost against Brazil. Oh. Wowzers. Kind of honestly want to see like the 1930. Oh, 
Not got, this is our bracket? Was there not that many teams playing? Not as many. Oh my word. This is our little <laughs> knockout stage. Uh, we lost against Argentina. Dang it. Wait, what about the third place match? Did, oh, did we win that? Did they not have a third place match? I mean, it's 1930, probably not. Twenty fourteen, you said. I remember this World Cup. <laughs> Where's us? Did we not make it? Did they scroll past us? I thought it said we made it to the round of sixteen at least. I just don't scroll far enough. Here we go. Are we in a different group? Do they group us differently each year? Because we've been with different groups. Okay. Knockout stage. This PK shootout? Or is that three in overtime, two in overtime? Okay, so, yeah, we lost to Belgium. Nice. Uh, Argentina, Belgium, Argentina won. Netherlands, Germany. Germany goes far. Germany is a good team. Brazil. Seven to one. Oh, my word. Germany destroyed. And Germany won in 20. I remember. I remember this, this game. I watched this game at uh, my brother's friend's house. Has Germany won? I'm sure they have. I mean, they, they've won. they won that one, but how many times? Well, like three or four. FIFA World Cup. Oh, they won a year they hosted. One, two, three, four. Four times. And oftentimes, like runners up, second place, third place, third place, second place, second place, third place, second, fourth. Banned from entering. Oh, was this because of the after effects of World War II? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my word. They lost in the first round. Um, like, they're, they're, they're they might be, <laughs> they might be, like, the best team. I don't know. How, what about Argentina? Arge they, Argentina, Germany, and Brazil. Like, they might be, they might be the best team. Cause like even even if they don't win, run second place, second place, third place, third place, like uh, yeah, they'll make it far. Let's see. Brazil, Brazil and Argentina. Beat the World Cup. FIFA World Cup, one, two, three, four, five. So that's more than, I think Germany had four, right? But they're the same type of thing. If they don't win, they're like third, fourth place, you know? And then Argentina. It's, it'll be Brazil, France, Argentina, and Germany. Brazil not in this one? No, they won't. Didn't we just look at Brazil? Or did we look at... We did, right? Or Argentina. I don't even know anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. 
Okay, um, let's look at France. The World Cup. One, two. They have two wins. Oh, they won at Russia? I don't remember them winning Russia. Um, Argentina. Let's speak of World Cup. One, two. Wow. They've only won two. So, who was it? Was it Brazil who had five? And Germany had four? But Germany is right behind them. That's nice. Has, uh... I bet England's won once. I bet Mexico's won. I would, I would think so. Where's Mexico? I just saw Mexico. I'm blind. Blind with that. FIFA World Cup. Oh, they haven't won any. Dang. They don't do that great. I would think they'd... I would think they'd do a little bit better. That's surprising. Their best they've placed is sixth. Dang. I could have sworn they're a better team than that. Uh... Has Spain won any? No. I don't think that's Spain. There we go. What the heck? Do they not? Where's the. Am I not clicking on the right thing? I bet we could also just look at oh World Cup wins World Cup history. There we go. All right, let's go back. Nineteen thirty, Garaway the Argentina, Italy, Italy, Italy's won twice. Garaway, Germany. Brazil. Brazil. Hey, England. There you guys go. Brazil. Germany. Argentina. Italy. Italy's won three times. Argentina. Germany. Brazil. France won once. Brazil. Italy. Italy's won a bunch of times. Oh, Spain has won in 2010. Cool. Germany, 2014, France. Can I just see like the list? Like France, three, Germany, two, five, four, whatever. And rather, rather than counting these out. So you guys won one in 19, 1966. I literally do not remember France winning. Okay. I bet if we just looked at the World Cup in general. Um, 
soccer. FIFA World Cup. Okay. Hosts, attendance, awards. Wow, 16 goals. Uh, Brazil's got the most number of goals scored. You might break, you might break a hundred this, this, this upcoming World Cup. You probably will. Probably, like 90% chance you'll, uh, I don't know if 90 is the word. You might break a hundred goals this, this World Cup. Okay, this is what I wanted. Here we go. Hallelujah. Brazil's won five. Germany and Italy are tied for four. Argentina, two. France, two. England, Spain. Why are they lower? They should be with... Why are they placed eighth? Do they not count the 1930? And it is kind of interesting how the team that's been in it the most has the most titles. That would make sense though. FIFA U17 World Cup under 17. What in the world? That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Does it take place during the World Cup as well? Or is it at 2023? I didn't even know that was a thing, bro. Uh, let's go to the women's side of things. FIFA Women's World Cup. Then we'll see US be like 10 wins or something. Something crazy. FIFA Women's World Cup. Okay, records and statistics. Isn't I'm surprised. Um, Al Alexi, what's her face is on that. <laughs> Go to women's because you suck at men. I really like this uniform of ours. This one, it's nice. Uh, wh what's her name? Alex something. Can I just control F in the finder? Alex Morgan? I think this is her. Yeah. I'm surprised she's not in like our top scorers because she's like super good. Okay. Uh, top goal. Yeah, I'm just surprised she's not one of these people. Goal scored 138. Wow. What in the world? So it's four teams that win. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. So... We're not, we're honestly not the best in the world. I mean, maybe right now, but. Did we, did we just lose the last one or was that the Olympics? We lost to Canada and Canada won the whole way. Was that the World Cup or the Olympics? Eight. Wait, eight participations, eight wins. Wait, how many? Where's the wins? 40. Oh, I, I'm stupid. I was like, oh, we won. Everybody's won eight times. No, wins. 40, 30, 24, 14. Okay, so maybe we are the best in the world. Maybe, maybe we are. Japan still does pretty good, though. Um, I'm surprised how good Norway's done. Uh, what are your, what are our years? FIFA World Cup. 
1991. See, look, we haven't, we've lost, we won the last two years. And then we came in second and third. <laughs> but basically, we either win or we get second or third place. The Olympics, though, we lost. We got third. That was rough. I watched that. That was sad. But Canada won. I think. Good for them. Let's see. 2020... Uh, women's women's soccer uh, Olympics the um the Olympics are I really like the soccer but it's a lot shorter you know the World Cup's like a month whereas this I think was like two weeks or something like the group stages and we like we get done with this very quick because I mean they have to be but Show me, show me the, show me the, what happened. Show me the bracket. Okay, here we go. Um. Great Britain. Be Austria. Is this PKs or is this four points in overtime? I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> I wish I could just like watch some highlights on stream and not get my stream taken down. <laughs> uh, there is like the national, uh, the US. Like soccer league, women's soccer league or something. Where is it? Oh my word, oh my word. Oh my word, oh my word. Here it is, this. Um, brackets being penalty. Um, I'm pretty sure they allow you to co-stream this. Co-stream, be the voice in the match, but co-streaming. Yeah. So you, I won't get copyright strike. I want to do that one of these games, watch a game. I mean, two hour long matches, but they let you co-stream it, which is cool. This is the US Women's Soccer League. Who does Alex play for? Um, Alex Morgan. Who does she play for other than the San Diego Wave? Are there any San Diego Wave games? Videos. SD San Diego. Yeah, this is her team. Oh, look at her go. That's not her. But... Oh, that was close, bro. Still one nil. Still one nil. Oh, they win. They're in the 90th fourth minute. With five minutes of penalty time. They beat Chicago one nil. Yeah, they do. Yeah, people are cheering for Alex. 
All I want for my 10th birthday is a goal. Alex Morgan, number 13. Cool. Yeah. Let's have notifications on. So maybe one day I can watch a stream. Uh, yes. This match. I think it was like a stupid call. I think she's like off sides or something dumb. Um, Canada versus United States. August 2nd, 2020. Canada. Well, it's going to be in 2021. Versus United States. You can't spell. Uh, August 2nd, Knocked out Olympic gold contention member. Oh, they won by a penalty, and I, I think the penalty was stupid. Oh, we had to switch goalkeepers. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. We're hosting in 2028. Los Angeles. France. Paris. Los Angeles. 2028. Six years from now, I'll be 26. 26! Ah! Wow. Okay, I think we win Kankafka a little. Yeah, we're probably the best team in the world. Well, folks, I've enjoyed our time here. I will be back in a few hours. I have uh, an event to go to. I will be back in a few hours to play some. Um, but before that, I might play some Apex with Elliot. I might play some Apex with Elliot, then play some Zombie U. It'll be a good day. Um, thank you for stopping by. I love you all. Kisses. I will see you guys somewhere. Random. Peace. We just broke two hours of streaming. Mm, good two hour stream. Alright. I'll see you guys somewhere. Random. Bye bye. I have to switch hands because my mouse is on my right hand. Alright. Goodbye. Love you all. See you in just a bit. A few hours, like three hours, four hours, three, four hours. I don't know.